What if I told you that there is a way to make money passively while you sleep? I know that sounds too good to be true, but I want to share with you today the way that I found to be the easiest with the least amount of stress or resistance to make money passively and most importantly, use your money to do so instead of your time. Unfortunately, most business models or side hustles that you see out there on the internet are something like drop shipping, starting a new online business, creating a new YouTube channel, everything that you need is time and you need to put your time to get rewarded. Now don't get me wrong, that's totally fine and we have to work if you want to create something great. But if you want to make a little more extra cash with your money that you already have probably laying on your account, today I want to share with you the strategy that I found to be the easiest for me. What I'm talking about is using your money in the stock market and buying the S&P 500 index. Now, I know that might sound complicated to you, but I want to promise you it's not. It's much, much easier than you think it is. And I can assure you that by the end of this video, you will feel much more confident. Now, let's discuss first of all, why S&P 500 or not something else. S&P 500 has an average return of 10% over the last decade. This is the most safe and foolproof instrument to make money with. Don't take my word for that. I want to share with you a little bit of data and history so that we see why the S&P 500 always comes back even after wars, crashes, recessions, every time it manages to come back. And not only it comes back, but it comes back aggressively and makes many, many more percentages in return. So let's take a look, for example, at Black Monday, something that happened 1987. The market dropped 33%. There is panic out there. Everyone wanted to sell. And so what happened if you held through that time? Not only the market recovered its loss, but it went for another 323% to the upside. So if you were trading back there or dealing with the financial markets and you bought the dip, you would have made 323% on your money. Now let's take a look at another example that was as well extremely fear mongering, the dot com bubble. Everyone was buying internet stocks, everyone started to look pretty bubblish. People were buying all kinds of stuff that was out there and thought they're gonna get rich overnight. And all of a sudden, fear kicked into the markets. And that happens a lot. This is pretty normal. On the market, you always deal with extreme optimism and extreme fear. So what happened is everyone started selling and the market dropped 50%. However, right after that, it returned 101%. So not only it recovered the losses, but it continued to go higher. So you see, even if you bought at the worst possible time, you still could have made money on your investment. Let's take a look at another historical moment, the financial crisis. Everyone knows that was pretty nasty. The market dropped 57%. There was a lot of fear. There were some real big problems back there. So after this big drop, not only the market recovered that, but it went for a 401% run. This is huge. And think about it. If you just not only mistimed that or had a very, very bad timing, you would have still made money on your investment. Now let's take a look at another example. 2020, unfortunately, COVID happened. No one knew what's gonna happen. No one knew how businesses are gonna survive. Are people going to survive? There was panic on the markets. Everyone was locked down and the market dropped 30%. Right after that, not only it recovered the 30% drop, but it went for 114% to the upside. Of course, Fed has something to do with that because they started cutting rates and they started pumping more liquidity and more money into the market and that made the market go higher and higher. But again, another example of something bad happening on the markets, huge drop and then recovering even more. And the recent example that I have is 2022. This was based on inflation, Ukraine war, Russia. There was a lot of uncertainty going on, geopolitical situations. And so the market went for a whole year of a correction. Personally, since I started dealing with the financial markets, this was one of the longest corrections I've ever seen. Normally a correction is somewhere between two 
two to three months and that's it you're done it's over but this one was very long the whole year was bearish and the market dropped 22 percent and for now we're still in the recovery so the reason why i'm sharing with you this data is just to show you how safe it is to invest your money in the s p 500 and to see what has happened in the history unfortunately nowadays everyone is fear mongering you everyone is talking about inflation next recession next virus you name it there's all kinds of fear mongering things out there and it's so easy to fall into that and personally i regret nothing more than not putting all of my savings into the s p 500 in much much earlier age but anyways that's another topic hopefully i'm gonna do better in the future so as you can see there is plenty of history that shows that the market always comes back and Focusing on the S&P 500 is much, much easier than stock picking. Even Warren Buffett said that. And here is why. You don't have to deal with individual stocks. You don't need to know their fundamentals. You don't need to know what's going on in the company with their revenue, with their management. What are their plans for next year, for the year after? Is there some kind of a regulation that might stop them from whatever they're doing? You don't have to deal with any of this. All you need to do is focusing on one index and all 500 US stocks are in that index but today i would like to share with you not how to invest in the s p 500 that's another topic by itself and you can do that as you can see i want to share with you an easier way to make monthly or pretty much quarterly income from that and for that i use spxl spxl is an exchange traded fund and it has three times the daily returns of spy the s p 500 so that's a leverage etf it goes three times faster than the s p 500 of course with leverage there are a lot of risk as we know but leverage can also be very very good because first of all it's a cheaper way to start with because you don't need so much capital it's cheaper than the spy and it moves faster this means you can reach your goals much faster compared to investing in the etf itself so how that that strategy works it's actually pretty simple if you're not familiar with charts don't worry about that it's much easier than you think it is so what i'm doing is i'm looking at the simple declines if i see the s p 500 dropping for three to five days in a row this is for me a buy i start buying the spxl the exchange traded fund and i add to the position if it keeps dropping more so at some point after two three four five or six weeks it will bounce back up and it will continue even higher and it's up to you when you would like to pay yourself and take your profits if you decide you can hold on for a little longer if you think you might it might go higher but if you want to you can pay yourself every month or every three months that's something i personally do and move on with your life and you can use the spy the s p 500 for investments only now you might say is not that that risky to just buy the dip and keep adding and i would say of course it is there's of course a little more into that and you have to find a way to manage your risk properly and not like invest way too much into this but overall buying the dips on the s p 500 and using for that the etf that moves faster is a pretty good solid and safe strategy so next time you open up the chart look for previous lows on the chart and previous breakout points on the chart look for declines over three to five days in a row and this is for you your buy zone i hope that video helped you a little bit and i hope you start using that and using your money to work for you instead of putting only your time to into work and i hope to see you back here on our channel bye